I said we outside from long time, yeah. Good vibes, yeah, yeah. Welcome inside another edition of Foodie Finds. It's your boy JD, and today we are on Tragreet Road. The Oval is behind me. In front of me is Maury Street, and I know some of you already know where I'm about to take you. I'll let you know when we come back. JD, Foodie Finds. Let me just move my very comfortable Foodie Nation mask. I'll tell you all about that later down in the show. Behind me is a building that I know many of you all recognize, you know, Tina Pie. We come here because they have the best pie in. Let me see if it's just in Port of Spain or throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Let's go. Oh, oh. Yes, 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 my friends. Let me tell you, it feels like I have been eating this pie forever, you know. And I think it will be a nostalgic place for, you know, for many of you all who left the country. I got the, um, yeah, I have the fish, I got the potato, and this is the beef. Uh, we already put the sauces in it. And, um, yeah, we're going with the beef first. I ran some and do eat beef. Yes, we do. You want some? None fair. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, um, mm, yeah. It does make you feel just start to move on. And it's amazing how this taste have not changed over the years. Right? Look at that. Look at the seasoning. It's soft, it's crunchy. All oh, right. I wanted to bring this place to you because you know they shut down the carnival. And many of you all would have made your way home and you're gonna end up right here, right? So just wanted to bring back a little vibes with a little energy. Trinidad and Tobago style beef pie, fish pie style, you know? So, comment below and let me know if you ever had tuna pie right here on the track read. Production, look at this. Just look at, you know, there are many different types of pies, the way people do pies in Trinidad, but I think this is the original way, you know? And, um, how do you eat it? Do you start from here? Do you go from the center? Normally people go from top, but I, know, I, I like to... <laughs> oh yeah, my friend. Oh, the fish is nice. What is this? My, my fish? Look at that. The fish is nice and it's soft. Oh yeah. We could do this whole day. I'll be back to the fish. And we have the traditional potato pie. I say, you know sometimes you just fed up, you just get a little fed up for the chicken and the beef and the fish. And you want to do a potato. So I want to bring the potato for you. Oh yeah. And they look like they seasoned the potato too. I'm surprised, actually. I prefer the potato, you know. The potato is really, really lashing. Yep, it's a boy JD. It's fully fine. We ain't really fine here to most of you, but if you don't know, we find Tina Pie. All right, so production just corrected me. So I have to come back and let you all know that it's not potato pie, it's aloo pie. I mean, what is the difference? Potato, aloo. Who says? Let me know. Comment below. Is it potato pie or aloo pie? It's a damn good pie, right? Wait, it's... So guys, we know that many of you all are missing home and we love you. This is just our little way to just, you know, send some love all your way to let me feel like part of Trinidad and Tobago again, you know? So, of course, I told you about the mask. Um, this mask is very, very soft. It's easy to breathe through, right? And you have your official Foodie Nation logo. You can get this. And, of course, you must have a T-shirt to match with it. Yeah, this T-shirt, again, is very comfortable. I could wear this whole day, you know, guys. Description is in the link below where you could, you could push it to T-shirt. Link in the description. 
leave it there. I don't want to cut it out. Link is in the description. Get your Foodie Nation mask and your t-shirt. My name is JD. This is Foodie Pines. Yeah, pie tastes real good. Don't worry, I'll go email one to you. Can you do that? I'll mail one. Ugh. Horrible.